Hello, Sagittarius. If you've been with me before, you know that Sundays are kind of like, uh, well, what do I feel like reading today? And I think that the way things are in the world today, my life's purpose sounded good. Now, mind you, no matter what the cards say, please don't run out and quit your job. These are merely suggestions, things maybe to think about, or maybe create a side job or a part-time job for you. You know, so, oh boy. So, here we go. Sagittarius life purpose card this is the uh, these are the uh, oracle cards by doreen virtue now mind you doreen virtues uh cards generally are based angel based so uh, so we'll see okay what do we get and that is so funny i said that because sagittarius you got talk to your angels <laughs> instead of worrying ask for divine guidance Here's my translation. If you don't believe in angels, if you don't believe in God, this to me is law of attraction and you, your higher self. Talk to your higher self. Meditation. Quiet your mind and focus on nothing. I actually deal with like crystals and certain crystals and holding them and they help with focus and sometimes with, well, figuring things out. I know, it sounds a little kooky, but it works. So, Sagittarius. Let's see. Can we help them with their life's purpose? Sagittarius, what's my life purpose? These are the, uni the uh, Oracle of the Unicorn cards. My life purpose. Five, four, three. Oh, too many life purposes there. <laughs> Sorry. So, four. Three, two, and one. And the top card is the one. What'd you get? Trust. Leap into the unknown, have faith, and move forward. Believe you will fly. This to me means kind of like what I did here. One day after years of thinking, I want to do tower readings on YouTube. And my kids, of course, saying, you're crazy, Ma. I said, I'm doing it. Why not? So I'm not saying quit your job and do anything, you know, crazy. Don't go, well, I was going to say join the circus, but that would be a stupid thing to say now, wouldn't it? But you understand what I'm saying. But maybe it's something you can do on the side. Never know, Sagittarius. Let's see. Spellcasting Oracle cards. Can we... Help the Sagittarians with their life purpose. Some direction, maybe. Let's see. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Trust. Wait a minute. Do we get trust twice? We get trust twice. <laughs> Sagittarius, leap into the own, have faith and move forward, believe you will fly. I kind of feel this to me is for somebody who has had an idea in their head for a while and has just been waiting for that nudge. For me, you know what the nudge was? Listening to a tarot reader that I listen to on here all the time and they were like, what are you waiting for? And I thought to myself, I don't know, what am I waiting for? Yeah. <laughs> This talks about, you know, hold your cards close to your chest. Be careful with whom you hear, share your ideas. Um, the person you've inquired about is trustworthy. Open heart, you're trying this time to trust. I'm going to let you see this so you can screenshot it if you like. There's that spell. Um, but this to me, I, I really think it's trusting in yourself. And that's why you're meditating because you have to have faith in you and trust your abilities. Like I said, don't run out and quit your job though, okay? No, don't do anything crazy. Okay, so let's see here. Get some tarot cards. Give them a little more information maybe for Sagittarius for their life purpose. Would you like to tell them a little something? Okay, Sagittarius, there we go. I was gonna say, they're not saying anything else. It's all up to you to figure it out. Anything else? Yeah, I'm so sorry to tell you. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm just gonna, whoa. 
We went from nothing to, oh my goodness. Okay. Because I have this thing about the order that I take them in. Confusion. <laughs> Which is why you need to really do some meditation and talk to yourself and figure out, you know, a direction. But it seems to me that this reading is for someone who has some idea. The hangman. So maybe you need to look at it from another perspective. You know, maybe you've had an idea and you haven't been sure. Maybe you've been mulling it over and juggling it. Well, could I do this or could I do that? Not really sure what to do. But maybe there's somebody you can talk to about it. Give some messages. Because when you do that, I think that the messaging whoever you're talking to about this is going to shed a lot of light on what you're thinking about doing. And the sun is like the best card in the deck. Possibly you'll be doing that with a water sign Sagittarius because this is the queen of cups and the, char the uh, character cards. These are people sometimes, or maybe your idea is dealing with something emotional, maternal, um, and the magician card. Now I got to tell you, I think Pisces also got the magician card. This is like the ma this is the, the, the manifestation. The magician. He's got all the tools: a cup, a pentacle, a sword, and a wand. <laughs> Sorry. So you have all the tools that you need to do whatever you are contemplating. But like I said, don't run out and quit your job. But uh, looks to me like this is something. Maybe what this is saying is. You know, you could juggle this, you know, your full time and your, you know, start this as a side business. Maybe your side business is writing, you know, I don't know, but you got the sun and you got the magician. So manifest away, trust yourself, you know, dip your toes in the water and see what happens. Be careful. Good luck. Thank you so much for being here. And remember, Sagittarius, take time for you. Bye-bye.